Hi, my name is Jonathan Aiken. I work for a company called HR Talk Outsourcing. Uh, if you want to pigeonhole us, we are an HR, payroll, tax and accounting service provider. But I think there's a bit more to our company than that. And when I'm asked what services we provide, I often need to just take a breath, step back, and because uh, it doesn't always capture the essence of what we try to do as a business. Uh, it's a little bit better for me to take you through an anecdotal story of what a typical client journey looks like. So several years ago, Anne was appointed as an HRD for a nationally established manufacturing business. She'd not heard anything bad about a new company or about the HR capabilities within the business, but she wanted to get a good sense for herself on the quality of the team, what was operating well, the areas that could be improved. Now, she could have done it herself, or she could have got one of her team to do it, but she wanted an external perspective, so she called in HR Talk. The HR Talk team carried out a payroll and HR review, which concluded that overall things were, they were fine. There was one major risk area that they could deal with, and there were a few areas that they could improve, but overall, things were pretty good. A year or two later, Anne was struggling internally with complaints from and about her payroll department. Some errors had crept in, which had resulted in some employees going to management and complaining. And the problem was that the unions were now making a big thing of it. The payroll team claimed it was a system problem, which is a relatively standard complaint. So Anne called in HR Talk to have a look, and ultimately the conclusion was that the payroll system was fine. It wasn't maybe the best system, it was quite an old platform, but ultimately the problem was that the system wasn't being used as it should be because staff had changed in the payroll team hadn't been trained properly during that interim phase. So HR Talk then helped the team improve processes and training. As part of this, Anne also recognized that she was running a risk with succession planning. So she signed HR Talk up to provide payroll support because she worried that if some of her key payroll team left, she wouldn't be able to run payroll and pay staff and wanted to just have that comfort that somebody who knew her business would be able to step in at short notice. Time passed, and Anne continued to use HR Talk for a number of interventions where she wanted to either manage risk better, didn't have the internal resources to do something, or just wanted to find out what other people in the market were doing. She reached out to help with claiming tours, difficult for everybody. She asked for help to improve the time and attendance system to better identify cost savings. They had it in place, but they just didn't know how to use the data properly. She called in HR Talk to showcase various payroll systems they were thinking about changing from the old platform. She also wanted to look at what HR platforms were available so she could consider what to use, what they would cost the business, and how they might benefit her. She used the HR Talk tax team on a regular basis for advice around payroll package structuring, foreign secondments, and other employment tax issues. She called in HR Talk to help with an acquisition, due diligence, integration, all the things she didn't all have the resources for internally. And she used some of HR Talk's HR support team to fill in gaps when things were tight and she needed to manage specific projects. She'd set up a new branch, she didn't want new headcount. And she asked HR Talk to help her manage her employment equity and skills reporting. So a few months ago, we asked Anne what she liked about her relationship with HR Talk. And she said, I see HR Talk as a special toolkit I keep at the side of my desk. Most of the time I don't need it, but when I'm struggling with something difficult, something new, challenging to us, then I give HR Talk a call. I like the fact I can contact specific people, and I like the fact that solutions are practical and things we can often do ourselves with a little bit of help. The HR Talk relationship has been like having a, a warm comfort blanket available just in case the weather turns cold. Now, as I listen to some of the conversations we've had today, I see that there are, there's so much great tech out there. And in these challenging, changing times, um, some of that tech is very helpful. But we also recognize that a system on its, on its own can't solve everything. You need the people and you need the processes to make that whole thing fit together and work nicely. And that's what we do at HR Talk. We help you with that equation. We help make you successful so that HR is the forefront of the commercial side of the business. At HR Talk, we strive to build relationships with clients 
that lasts for a long time, you know, hopefully more than 10 years. And we feel that we can only do this by always putting our clients' interests first and trying to treat each inter interaction or each conversation as if it's the first and only one. So please uh, feel free to give us a call today. Come and chat to us at our booth. Um, if you'd like to discuss some of the challenges you are facing within your business, with HR, payroll, tax or accounting. Uh, we love helping people. Thank you very much for the time today, and thanks for uh, the HR and Darbo people for organizing. Thank you.